is it in here? Oh, these are just empty bottles and a pencil and a hammer. Sit out the back. Oh, it's in here, isn't it? It's in this trailer, I bet. It's a sin, my darling, how I love you because I know. It's a sin, no, 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 no. All right, I don't know where Sunny Smiles lives. It doesn't give it away. Aha, Trudy. Oh look, her dog's here, so she must be. She's roommates with Trudy, I think. Sunny, where are you? There she is. Howdy. Wake up, Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Uh, I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. All right. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. So we have to get Trudy, Chet, Easy Pete's dynamite. And possibly, okay, good. I'll be waiting. Great. Trudy, what's up? So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Yeah. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're a little outnumbered against the power gang. Think you could help? I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my God. Really? can't do either of them all the more reason for me to sit this one out I'll be rooting for you though oh my god I need one more point in speech all right Trudy be careful out there I'll be back I'll be back Trudy you better believe it use a magazine to boost speech oh, that's a good idea actually I don't know if I have one though items aid Programmer's Digest gives me science. Today's precision gives me medicine. Lad's Life gives me survival. Boxing Times gives me unarmed. I don't think anything gives me speech, except for that stupid magazine I wrote, I read before and wasted. What's this? Charisma. Oh wait, what, will Mentats do it? Does Charisma give it to you? Use Mentats. Hey. All right, Mentats popped. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. No, I'm feeling on Mentats. Okay, here we go, it's worked. You guys are right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. It's because I'm, I'm you. tripping balls. Let me have a word with a few other folks and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. All right, While good. While everyone does own a gun, we can stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. Good. Be Got careful her. out there. Okay, what's who's next? Data. Quests. Uh, we need to get uh, to the dock. Easy Pete's dynamite and stuff. We have to convince Chet. Alright, look, I'll be back in two seconds, okay? And then we'll do this. Alright, two secs.
I'm back. All right, where are we going first? Easy P. He's just over here, right? Uh, over. He's just over here. If he's still at home, even. He might not be at home still. He's still asleep. Pete, you're holding out on us. Howdy. All right, I heard you got dynamite. I would, it would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Only kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Are you, Better leave are it you crazy? Safe Have you seen me with the stick of dynamite? I'm familiar with the Karen handling of explosive dynamite included. Uh -huh. There you go. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. All right. Easy. Easy. Yup. Yup. Nice. All right. Chet. We have to go speak to Chet. All right, Chet. We're coming for you next. We're going to get the whole town on board here to fight these guys. And then old Dynamite Joe here, Randy Savage, is going to lob them all. Uh, Hail Mary of death. That's right. You looking to buy some supplies? No. I need some supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Are you serious? Barter. Oh, go ahead. Right. Just keep me out of it. Okay, hang Is on Is there a anything second. else? No. Uh, yeah, actually. No. Barter. I need some more bartering. Um, Take it easy now. How do I raise my barter skill, chat? I don't think I have anything that can do it. Science. Bartering. I guess I just need to level up. Who else do we have to speak to? Chet, return to Ringo and let him know that Sunny Smiles has agreed to help you fight the Powder Gangers. Oh yeah, we need to go speak to, to the Doc as well. The Doc has all of his lights on all the time up here. There's a bartering magazine in the shop. Oh, okay. Alright, Doc, where are you? Are you asleep too? Nope. <laughs> Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Um, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. Oh, yeah. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Three stim packs. They'll be using explosives. Do you have something for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Two doctor's bags. Wow. All right. You take care now. Thanks, Doc. Okay. We've enlisted Doc, and you said that there's a bartering magazine inside the shop? Ah, oh, shit. He's gonna be awake now, though. Oh wait, he might not be. It's only 6.20 a.m. He might be asleep still. What? To pee or not to pee? Pee? No, I didn't go pee. I just had a quick stretch. I just had a quick stretch and I walked around. My my dumb office. My dumb man office. Howdy. Okay, where's this? Ah, it's this one, isn't it? Salesman Weekly. Okay, let's use it. Items. Aid, Salesman Weekly. Aha! You looking to buy some supplies? Okay, thanks, chat. I need some supplies to fight the Powder Gang. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the Powder Gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Yeah, they are. Let them take over the town, then I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. No, I don't, actually. 
I don't get it. Take it easy now. You want to play some caravan? No? All right. See you later. All right. I think that's it. I think we just have to go speak to what's-his-face now. And tell him. Return to Ringo. All right, Ringo. Here we come. The best quest ever. Leather armor and gimp suits. Yeah, right. We're gonna wear. We're gonna fight them off with our gimp suits. We're gonna come out with muffled howling. Zippers closed. All right, Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? She sure did. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. We can play some caravan. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Okay. Let me save. Just in case things go wrong. All right. I'm ready. I'm armed and dangerous. Oh. Oh, look. Everybody's, everybody's getting ready for the big assault. Oh, man. This is going to be nuts. I'm going to use all of the dynamite. We have to go speak to... um. Sneaky Pete as well. Wait, that's not Sneaky Pete. Oh, look at all of Salesman Weekly is worn off. Wow. I can actually push these things around. Look at this. Oh, you can actually carry it around, too. Now the stranger huh. started talking, made it plain to folks around. Where is everybody? Was in Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. What are we doing? Meeting in here first? He came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe Hello? And he said it didn't matter that he was after Texas Ray. After Texas Ray. What the fuck? Wasn't long. Join up with Sonny. Oh, okay. She's over here somewhere. Look, I can see, I can see her dog. What's going on? Where is she? Where the crap is she? Oh no, not my man tats. The men tats have all worn off. It was 20 past 11 when they walked out in the street. What the fuck? I don't know where she is. Is she still at home? Is it too early or something? Because she was just right there before, wasn't she? Talk to the robot. The robot. The compass. Oh, with the, um... Wait, who's that? That's not her. You gotta use the, um... You gotta follow the, the rockets on the compass, of course. My bad. Oh, she's at home, I think. Hi, Trudy. Oh, here she is. What's up? Hey there. Hi. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. All right, let's do it. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Okay. Let's go. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Five. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay. Oh, look at this. She has a single shotgun here. She ran off. Are they here already? Wait, don't shoot yet. No, no. At the store. Come on. Uh oh. Take cover, everybody. Here they come. We're in a lot of trouble here. All right, Trudy's behind a wagon with her bare fists. Happy belated birthday, six, oh, you crap. big bastard. Here they come. I would have donated yesterday, I but I was at work during the stream. It's a sin, my Here comes Savage! Oh, yeah. He crippled his right leg. Watch out, Randy Savage incoming! Oh, man. Who's this? Is that Joe Cobb? Oh, it has to be, right? 
He's dead already! Okay, now he's super dead. Who else is here? There's another one. Not you. Not you. Not you. None of you. No, come on. Don't worry. I oh, this is Joe Cobb. Meet Joe Cobb, everybody. Here it comes. No! Back up! Jesus! <laughs> what happened? Oh, come on. Okay. We're very crippled right now. We're feeling better. Where did Joe Cobb go? Is he dead? Did you take him down? Is he on the retreat? Oh. I have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody, and the people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland. You can help develop a distinct reputation with each one. All right, good. All right. The powder gangers hate me now. I've been vilified. Wait, where's Joe Cobb? He had like some blast padding on him, didn't he? And look at this guy has a, a red cap on him as well. A pre-war baseball cap. Yes, please. Okay. Joe Cobb, I have no idea where he went. Oh. Enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you in Good Springs. Where the fuck is Joe Cobbs' his body? Did he escape? Ah, there he is. All right, Joe Cobbs. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Okay, good. Um, didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Okay. I'll do that. I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay, look at this guy. He's got a Magnum revolver. And he's also got a Powder Gang guard armor and a stealth boy. We're definitely taking when all this stuff. It's like Joe Cobb. We can't pick up Joe Cobb. We can pick up Joe Cobb. Alright, Joe Cobb. You're going on the roof. How can I... How can I get Joe Cobb up on the roof? Oh... Hop! Way! Oh. <laughs> oh no! Joe! Stay up there, you son of a bitch! Way up! Oh, that didn't work. And Ali! Oh shit! How did I do it the first time? He doesn't have any spectacles on him either, does he? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so close. So close. Give me some parting dynamite. No way, I'm not I'm not doing that. Okay, there's a whole bunch of dead dudes over here too, isn't there? Like this guy. Okay, he doesn't have jack shit on him. Look at all these named carcasses. Oh, some dynamite on him. Oh, he's got a desperado cowboy hat. Holy crap. Okay. Items. Desperado cowboy hat. Wait, how do I look at my face? <laughs> Randy Savage, everybody. What a looker. Wow. What a look! Whoa! Hold on a second. Oh, he had a baseball bat on him. Wow! What an attractive guy, eh? No. 
a spinning image. Oh god, it looks like an Oblivion character, does it? That's crazy. Okay, so hang on a second. Everybody has just gone back into the Prospector Saloon, I think. To have a couple of drinks and congratulate each other. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. That's right. Um, I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there That's is in junk, but no. there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If Whoa. you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine on locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. All right. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Okay, thank you. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR gotcha. patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You mean my dynamite? You never know who you'll run into. Right. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay, good. Thanks. Until next time. All right, let's go do the schoolhouse. Let's go crack this safe. Oh, hey, guess what? That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. Nice fucking beard, man. Holy shit. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Okay. Wasteland critters like to move in when sun is not looking. So watch out. All right. How do we stand with throwing dynamite inside an enclosed space? Big no-no, right? No? Am I only using dynamite? Well, not strictly. I'd like to use it as much as possible, but... Quickest way is taking the road. Great idea. It goes poorly. Alright. We'll use the school as, like, our testing ground for how well or unwell dynamite works indoors. I think the element of surprise is important. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh shit. Oh my lord. Oh, hold on a second. I got this, guys. Oh my lord. There's a lot of these mantises here. Oh, that'll do it. I did it. I blew my own leg off, though. I think I actually blew my own leg right off. Hey! Whoa! Hello there. Jesus. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. You kind, sir, are my hero, and I appreciate you and you your huge. Ginormous, hairy personality. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. Oh. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Oh, I see. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Hmm. Kill him. Where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Wow. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Okay. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. Okay. Um, who's Festus again? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. Right. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come Dude, and take the treasure. You missed a hundo. Not That'll from me. Him old. not rich long, I've but give the man the clap, clap, clap he deserves. Oh, fuck. And they weren't the I did miss a, a hundo 11 minutes ago. 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry, man. Zemekis01. Happy belated birthday, Sipsy Big Pastor. I would have donated yesterday, but I was at work during the stream. A hundred bucks. <laughs> Fuck. Holy shit. I am so sorry, man. And it, uh, it goes without saying, I appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. Jesus. Zemekis. I am, I am dumb, and I don't always notice things happening around me, uh, so I'm sorry about that. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Officer Cop, thanks so much for the bits as well. And John B's, thanks for the donation as well. I appreciate it. God damn. I'm so sorry about that. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Okay. What kind of treasure we talked about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Right. Okay, thanks for the info. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. How do I know that you're not him? How do I know that you're not him? Okay, let's get speech to 25. Uh, what was the other one that we didn't have that we wanted, needed at least 25? Barter. Survival, unarmed, sneak. Repair could be a good one too. Okay, and then let's just put one in explosives, done. Oh no, he's out. He's out. Oh, I missed him. Chad, I missed him. Okay, I should be able to lock pick this, no problem. Got it. The toolbox here too. Oh, it's a programmer's digest. Aha! Oh, it's broken. This terminal is broken in the school. This footlocker is empty as well. Son of a bitch. Let me guess, chat. Let me guess. I don't even need to look to guess, okay? If I were to look at the chat right now, a bunch of you guys would be saying something like, He had the last blue star on him. You had to kill him and now you missed him. I'm never watching you again. Am I right? Yeah, see, I see. I knew it. I knew it. He has the last blue star. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, right, he does. His name isn't Alan Marks. He doesn't even have it. Wait, is this where this guy lives? Howdy, partner. Hey, howdy to you too, partner. Just want to go in your shack and have a look around here. What are you doing here? You got a bed and stuff? What do you need that for? Weapon repair kit? You don't need that. You can't even pick up these old desk bins. What do you need all this ammo for, huh? What are you actually doing in here? Why do you need a toilet and a bath and stuff? He doesn't need any of this stuff. I should be able to live in here. We're gonna turn his radio off, see if he notices. Probably won't even notice. Um, alright, well I got the stuff from the safe. Um, I don't think... The reunion. Entered the divide. They went that away. Inquire about your delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim. Find the men who tried to kill you. We won't do any of the DLC just yet. We gotta be, like, at least level something, if I remember right. We have to be, like, level 10 or something to start them. Well, hold the Pip-Boy button for a light. 
You ordered a pizza and they put pineapple on it. That's disgusting. Who does that? Who actually does that? Oh yeah, we were just over here before, weren't we? Was there more quests in Good Springs, or can we just go to Prim now? She said to follow the road, right? Is this in-game music yet? Yeah, it is, yeah. Holster my gun to run faster. No, I want people to know that I mean fucking business while I'm out here. I want them to know from near and far that this man is all about business. Not there be no mistake. Or what, are you guys worried that one of them is going to shoot the dynamite in my hands? Come on, that's never going to happen. I saw a guy walking around out here. I'm going to take him out. Yeah, here he is. Uh-oh. Looks like they got a kill on sight on me. Here we go! Woo! Watch out! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking explosion that was! Holy shit! It went huge! Oh, you gotta love dynamite in this game. It's so good, isn't it? Oh look at how did this <laughs> How did his arm get in here? Look at this. It's a very heavy arm. Ugh. Look, it points to the way. There's legs and arms and shit everywhere. Pick his nose with his, with his own arm. But that's not even his arm. It's his friend's. Look. We can point. We can point at all that. <laughs> What's with the pointing finger on a on a dead a dead arm? Is that realistic? Is that what? Oh, there's an explosive crate here with one dynamite in it. All right, we're restocking. We're restocking big time. Oh wait, hang on a second. There's all these ammo boxes as well. Guard armor. Simple outfit and a rawhide cowboy hat. All right. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Man, that explosion was so good, right? Low karma run. Why is that stuff? Why is it considered stealing from there, though? They were powder gangers, right? I'm not even friends with them. How come my karma's getting so low and what happens if your karma gets too low do bad things start happening we turned on wild wasteland as well didn't we game karma for killing them but you lose it for stealing from them I know that doesn't make any goddamn sense does it all right prim here we come oh gross a whole bunch of radiation here Uh oh. Be sure it's true. Uh oh. When you're so <laughs> you got just enough to know. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. There's no point in wasting it on those guys, really, is there? Okay. Eight. Oh, look, we can have a Nuka Cola. 
And we can also drink some more sunset sarsaparillas as well. Let's take a look and see how crippled we are in the lake. And our... We gotta throw these from further away, I think, guys. We're throwing them way too close. Check out this roller coaster. I don't even think you can go on it. It's exactly lethal. Just doing quests and shit, you'll probably end up with good karma without trying all too hard. Or you can focus negative if you want. I don't mind either way. We'll just see what happens. We'll just take it like that. Okay, let's save. So we have to go to the... Whoa. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Why is it? What's going on here? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Right. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Uh, shouldn't you pr be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. Okay. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. The west side of the overpass. So this side. Alright, I'm gonna go speak to this so-called Lieutenant Hayes. Leader of the most unhelpful people in all of Fallout. Oh, I can't steal from their stuff without getting low karma. I was wondering why that stick of dynamite was getting closer, and then it hit me. <laughs> Thanks, Pepper TCG, for the bits. I appreciate it. Okay, it's tense over here. Look at how sparse this town is. There's like nothing. It's just like the same gross texture in lumps everywhere. I mean, to be fair, this game did come out a long time ago. So there is that. Hello. Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Right. Okay, thanks. Sir. You don't have to call me, sir. Metal door to an NCR tent. Ah, Lieutenant Hayes' tent. Lieutenant Hayes, I presume? Moonwalking into... Okay. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Uh, what are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Okay. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. Right. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Okay. What about this correctional facility? Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. Right. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Um, okay. Do you have any other information? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Right. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. Yeah, me they too. They got organized faster than I would have thought. How do you know I'm not one? Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Okay, I have some other questions, I guess. I have some free time. Ask away. Right. Um, what are you doing out here? <laughs> we were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the For correction. For fuck's facility. sake. As you can probably... I know, I know. You told me. All right, that's it. Goodbye. Now. Goodbye. You all right over there, Private? What's going on? Hey, we won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. So wait, are you are you meant to get a quest here? Or do they just sort of tell you about the facility and just say, just go do it if you want? No. She was just walking into a wall. She sure was creepy face sorta how do you actually yeah pretty much right okay he's part of a quest there's another related quest right okay 
Where do I get that one? That's intense. Look at this. Fucking NCR. Take that. You bozos. Now you're not going to be able to have your... What is it? I spoke to your stupid... Where are you from? I'm from the hub originally. Alright, you know what? See you later. Sir. Yeah, whatever. Fucking... He's from the hub. Remember that from Fallout 1? The hub? Good, good times. No? Fallout Shelter is better than Fallout 3. You have to head further down the road. Oh. Lost? Uh, ew, gross. No, I'm not actually lost. I'm just having a look. Oh shit! Hang on a second. There's some mines here. All sex. How do you how do you disarm those? You gotta go further down the road. Nobody told me to go further down the road though. Should I just go to the facility and just take out all the convicts? Or should I just go into Prim and just fucking hope for the best? Spam E. Oh, you just spam E as you approach them? What's that? Oh. Okay, we can use some of these, right? Are we just gonna sneak into town then? It's all clear so far. Huh. It's like PUBG. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's a mailbox. too fast for me it's a dynamite off whoops ouch that didn't work these guys are shooting a lot here take this right in the kisser baby come on whoa oh shit oh my god another one here. Whoa, look at this guy's outfit. Yeah, good shot. Got him. Oh shit, my health is very low though. I am crippled. I am crippled. Not in the ways that you guys think either. Um, Hang on a second. We have some gecko meat that we can eat it's gonna give us rads though or we could just eat drink some beer that'll do that'll do it fucking take that bitch got him oh my god okay now what is this that he's wearing he's got a Okay, his damage threshold is not very good, but it gives you plus two melee weapons and plus two guns. It looks cool though. That's the thing. It looks pretty cool. This is a Merc Troublemaker outfit, which gives us melee weapon and guns as well. Oh shit, there's a casino in Prim, isn't there? I'm pretty sure there's a casino in Prim. Oh, here we go. Hey, Sips. Daniel Greetings Wyatt. from Texas. My wife and I are longtime viewers since Tech It. We've Aww. been catching up on old Hogan's adventures recently when we're home together. Oh, nice. We love your content. And here's a small contribution as a thank you for all the laughs. Oh, Admiral Flapjack, thanks for the 50 bucks, man. 
That's really nice of you. Thanks so much. Jeez. Thanks. Thanks to you and your wife. I'm glad that you guys like all my stuff. Thanks so much. That's really nice of you. Wow. They got the claps. Yeah, hell yeah, they got the claps. 50 bucks, man. Jeez. We have a Mojave Express delivery order four of six here. And a caravaneer outfit. Note added. Okay, let's see this note. Misc. Six of six. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash, Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. This package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. I can't remember what this is, the platinum chip is for. Okay. Four of six. Deliver the package at the north north entrance to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. So hang on, there's like six packages, but only one of them had the platinum chip in it, right? Is that how it works? Fucking low on health, dude. What do I need to have to, uh, oh, blood pack? Blowfly meat. A bitter drink. Johnny Johnny. Look who it is. It's Eddie. Hello, is anybody home? This is an advanced model robot with the reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have seen a good bit of action. We can try to fix it. Or examine the electronics. Here the primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional. And the redundant systems are all working. Okay, let's try to fix it. Repair 65 or higher. Oh, can we repair it with parts? We need three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Okay. Johnny. Johnny. Are there other radio stations? I don't think anyone's home in Prim. Data quests. Inquire about your delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim and find the men who tried to kill you. Well, I'm here and nobody else is here. Oh, is it because everybody's been kidnapped? Oh, you know what? I think they're all hiding in the casino, aren't they? They're all hiding in this, the Vicky and Vance Casino. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plan. Johnson Town's Nash. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Okay. Um, I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package I was supposed to I'll deliver. tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. Uh, what can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it. But we couldn't turn down the caps. Some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. What was strange about it? 
I need I need to know the best way to get well, to Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. All right. Good, thanks. Don't go getting yourself shot. I won't, don't worry. All right. The lawman here is this robot. <laughs> Move along, please. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. Hey, who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! <laughs> who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were the same hey, as okay, Very excited for this, excited for this new Vegas playthrough. Oh. Also, pretty cool Prince to see a fellow Texan in the chat. Love you, that. Tell. I remain, Benis Jamin. Thanks so much, Benis Jamin. Yeehaw! Another time. Have it your way, partner. Maybe work up your curiosity by having a look at thrilling exhibits like the genuine death car and Vance's machine gun. That sounds great. Okay. Um. Goodbye. Happy trails, partner. Oh wait, no, you get to decide who is gonna be the the um the lawman in Prim, right? Who do we have to speak to in Prim? Ruby Nash. Howdy. Ruby Nash? Oh shit, there might be some caravanning. Hello here. there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, yeah, bye. Howdy. Sunny Smiles, is that you? Is that you? I'd rather be left alone to my misery, if you don't mind. It's you, isn't it? You don't recognize me? It's Randy Savage. Remember me? Remember me, brother, the one from Gold Springs? Uh. Howdy. She doesn't remember. Howdy. Fair enough. All right, who wants to play some caravan? Ah, oh, you know what? I know who wants to play some caravan. Whoa. Look at these creepy mannequins. That's disgusting. Howdy. Howdy. Johnson. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Hell yeah. Um, you want to play some caravan? You think you have what it takes, kid? Hell yeah. I know I have what it takes, but just in case, I notice you have 123 bucks here. You know what? I'm going to do you in, Johnson Nash. That's right, baby. I'm ready to play. Oh shit, you're in trouble now. Guys, what does the Joker do again? Serious question, what does the Joker do again? I can't remember. Does anyone remember? No. You wanna play some no fucking clue? <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, you know who else doesn't have a fucking clue? That's right, it's me. That's right, boys. It's me. Believe it or not, it's just me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Who even opens like that? That is disgusting. And I am angry. Oh my god, Johnson. Why are you doing me like this? Alright, Johnson. Two can play this game. Yeah, take that, bitch. Looks like your big move is done. You put a king on it, too. What a fucking J Bron. How lucky can one guy be? Ain't that a hole in the fuck? Oh, you son of a bitch, Johnson. Like a bunch of soap. Ain't that a hole in the boat? Like a whole bunch of soap. Got him. Uh. 
Oh my god. Look what he's doing. He's absolutely shit on that track. That track has shit all over it. It's been shit all over. Okay, I think we can do this though. Was it the Joker? You can remove, like... Oh my god. It got rid of my eight. Fuck, that was a bad Joker. What the hell was I thinking? Okay, how, how do I do this, chat? With the queen, right? Oh my god, he screwed up my good line, too. What a bitch. Guys, how does the Joker work? Serious question, though, I can't remember. I was meant to use the jack. I was trying to get rid of, um, cards from... Oh, look, I think I can get rid of this. That didn't work, either. But... But I can get rid of some of this stuff, so that's at least something. Okay, good. So we should be able to do this now. We can. Okay, and then we can go like... We can get rid of like... The nine. Yeah. Good. Oops. Don't worry, guys. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I got this in the bag. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny man. Johnny Nash. Oh my god. How many jacks does he have? How, how many can he possibly have in that, in that, up that sleeve of his? What a son of a bitch. What a true blue son of a bitch this guy is. You're a funny guy, Johnny Nash. Okay, we're gonna have to discard this track, I think. It's a trap deck. Fuck. I wasn't ready for that. Ah. Yes. Peace. Peace on Earth. Just perfect. Oh, you son of a bitch, Johnny Nash. Seriously. Why are you doing me like this? Johnson Nash. He's just doing me hard. Like, there's no way around it. Can't put that 10 there, but we can put this here to open this up again so that we can play this 10 here. Oh, we can't play that 10 there. That's annoying. We got this 2 here that we can play. Switch it to... Diamonds? Okay, look. I think I'm out of cards. Oh, come on. Why isn't this working? I think I'm fucked here. I think I'm well and truly fucked. I don't think I can, like, scupper him anymore either. Johnson, you fucked me hard here. You really fucked me hard, you know. I guess I have to discard this track as well. I'm completely out of cards, and he has a ton of cards left. I can't fuck him in that lane, either. 
I've lost all this money. Yeah. What can I do? He had like 20 jacks. Fuck. Hey, youngster. Still ha you know hanging Honey. about Prim, huh? Yeah, you, that's right. I am, you fucking asshole. I am Bye. hanging around Prim. You know what? I don't take kindly to some fucking scumbag from heck doing me out of all my money, Johnson. So take this. That's right. You what the fuck? Prim president. That didn't kill him. That is some bullshit. Take this. We're all going out. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm a very sore loser. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? My fucking money back. Play like fucking 20 jacks. He doesn't have a realistic damage mod. Oh, why? It's because he's like a quest guy. You can't kill him. You can't kill him because he's important or whatever. That is some bullshit. Bye. That is some total bull I can't believe I lost that. Guys, listen. I gotta go, though. It's late. Fuck, I didn't realize it was so late. Um, Do we want to use a new save? Do we want to do a new save? Or do we want to do this one? New save. We only have a thousand. Okay. So this will pick us up right where we left off, right? Okay, good. Alright, good. Well, listen, that was fun. It was fun playing Fallout New Vegas for a bit. Uh, but I have to go. I have to go put my kids to bed and eat dinner and all that kind of stuff. So listen, uh, I'm done playing for today. I'll be back tomorrow, normal time. I should be on all day tomorrow because there's no dad decks tomorrow. I think Terps is busy with something. Uh, so we can look at some mods potentially and we can play some more and see um, if we can get further. Pick up a companion or something and, you know, just do some stuff. It's only 1224. Yeah, maybe it is in fucking clown land, but in, in the real world, it's 624 uh, in the evening. So, so there you go. Do the Skyrim mod. There's a Skyrim mod for Fallout New Vegas? Jeez. God damn. All right, so listen, if you don't want to sit around and watch me uh, thank people for the next 10 minutes for donations, subs, and resubs, don't feel like you have to. Um, just, uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. If you want to watch some more, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, if you're leaving now, thanks so much for all the subs, resubs, and donations. I appreciate it. Have a good evening and stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Love you lots tonight. Everybody else, if you are staying, let's go into the office and read all this stuff out.